Ever since they were settled in the 1600s, the green rolling hills of Central Virginia have reminded people of the English countryside. And even more so now, thanks to an amazing home called Albemarle. This magnificent 45-room estate looks like it came out of Old England, but was actually built in the 1980s. David Easton is the architect of this amazing American treasure. It's amazing because it's a classical house of the 20th century. It has all of those principles of commodity, firmness, and light, which make a house wonderful. Those basic principles are the driving goals behind Easton's Tour de Force, a classic Georgian-style home that is as enjoyable to look at as it is to live in. Just ask the woman who built the house, it is my favorite place in the world. It is simply my most perfect spot on earth. Getting to the front door means driving past an 18-hole golf course by Arnold Palmer. But once you're there, prepare to be amazed. The entry hall is designed to welcome, not overwhelm. Instead, Easton let the grandeur explode just around the corner. The 130-foot gallery houses an impressive collection of Greek art and forms the very spine of the house. All along its length, you'll find one breathtaking room after another, starting in the drawing room. So it was planned to open up to you as you walked up to it and through it. These massive columns that frame the grand marbleized entryway look like they were plucked from a Greek temple. The room is a classic salon with its antique French and English furnishings and its 18th century marble mantle. For Easton, around the mantle. It looks like a piece of furniture. It feels like a piece of furniture and it acts like a piece of furniture. In the banquet-sized dining room on the other side of the house, the mantle also takes center stage. It's an antique English Rococo mantle. Its ornate gilding inspired the cornices and rosettes on the crown molding and the plaster work on the ceiling. But what really grabs your attention is the wallpaper. It was designed in Paris and hand painted in India. The process was so elaborate, the homeowners and Easton made a trip overseas just to see it being made. And it's wonderfully lit at night because there's candlesticks that have actually been designed into the wallpaper so that when the whole room is lit with candlelight, it is really spectacular. Easton not only imported the English manor to Virginia, he brought along the artisans to build it as well. English carpenters worked on the 100-year-old oak in the library and also built one of the finest details of Albemarle, the chapel. It's an American rendition of a Welsh Gothic church, and overhead, a stunning mural depicts the history of the surrounding Virginia countryside. And winemaker Patricia Kluge has probably one of the most amazing home offices anywhere. A fully functional winery sits just outside her back door. Albemarle is amazing for the wealth of riches that grace its halls, the timeless design that spans the ages, and the sheer delight it brings to those lucky enough to live in it.